Hi there, Collective. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia, and welcome to another timeless tune-in tarot story. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice. This way you get notifications of when I go live. Uh, if you would like to book anything private with me, the only way to do so is at that banner right below, which says HarmoniaFriends.com. You may certainly join us over at Harmonia as well. It's an exclusive area. It's a paid area, a small small fee guys uh if you like content like this um i also do daily check-ins monday through friday um you also get access to my vlogs my meditation my access point experiences support calls uh tarot mediumship galleries but most importantly you also get massive discounts on my services so if that's something that interests you check it out check it out all right all right without further ado let's get started let's see what the collective needs to know don't forget, take what resonates, leave the rest. This story may not be for you and that's okay. It may be about someone in your vicinity. So think about that as well. All right. Calling in our guides, our ancestors and our ascendant master spirit. What is going on for the collective? What is the challenge right now for the collective? Here we go. Surrender to your soul's path collective your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth embrace every lesson in every moment hmm. so this is your challenge you know to embrace every lesson in every moment um being present that no matter what bridges you go through and what bridges you burn, I'm hearing, okay? It's not always about just crossing over the bridge. Some of you need to like burn all bridges here that no longer serve you. That take it as a lesson and embrace this change, okay? Um, be proud of how far you've come. Hmm, interesting. What else goes with this? Here we go. How far you've come. Getting out of your comfort zone. Travel. Um, there's something about walking away. I keep hearing this has to do. And, I, and this card usually is about getting the ultimate rewards. But I feel like there is something about getting out of your comfort zone here, collective. You are going to be faced with getting out of your comfort zone. Um uh, this could have to do with the World Wide Web, too, all right? Some of you are influencers, but there's something here that is calling to your soul, calling for you to leave the circle to really find what does what, what uh, lights you up. Hmm. We have someone here who is challenged to step outside of them, their, their circle. The Ace of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Cups reversed. It's time, all right? I'm definitely talking to someone here who knows it's about damn time to get their reward, all right? Uh, listening to their intuition here. But the Wheel of Fortune is a really positive card. It's about going after your dreams, going after your desires. Um, but there's something here where you know it's up to you to make that move, to light the fire up your ass, okay? Doing something outside of your comfort zone. I don't know, whatever this is. I mean, this is a general reading, so it can be anything. Outside of your comfort zone could be, you know, if it's relationship-wise, it's about doing something here and now, getting back out there. But if this is something about your soul's path, your journey, uh, this could be so many different things in your life. I feel like you've been complacent and not growing as much as you would like to, but it's now time to be honest with what actions you have taken to get there. I keep, you know, this is a wolf and I keep hearing lone wolf. I think you've been a, a lone wolf far too long. Um, this is someone who's has to face the honesty being truth. I mean, you got to cut the bullshit out. This is a very cutting sword here, all right? 
really take accountability of those actions that you've been taking. There's been seasons that have passed. Why do I feel like I've been kind of stuck for, for a while? Look at all those seasons passing. Now, the Seven of Cups is usually a card of having many different choices, many different options here, but I'm really focusing on that turtle in the bottom here, okay? Someone's been at like really slow pace as to making moves. Needs to have the perfect option before they make any move, all right? I have someone here who has a hard time coming out of their shell, all right? Once they get complacent, it's like, yeah, I'll get to that. I'll do that. It will happen. Hmm. There's a snake there. It's time to transform. It's time to change this. Um, it's time to get out of your comfort zone. We have uh, someone here who knows they have to get out of their comfort zone. Ah, the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Like, you know, holding the sword there, all right? Loyalty. Now, the King of Swords is someone here who doesn't really use their heart space a lot. Um, has a tendency, collective, to um, really be logical. Uh, you know, they, they've been hurt at one point, so they're trying to be authentic, uh, honest, uh, strategic, um, biting with their words. But there's something about being cold far too long. The loyalty to, and this is a professional too, this is someone here who, who really um, is a hard worker. Um, no bullshitter kind of individual, loyal to whatever they drive to. But I feel with a sword here, it's time to cut the bullshit, all right? You've been indecisive far too long. The actions have been taking here. You haven't been working with the universe on this. Someone hasn't. Someone needs to listen to their intuition. Take actions. What did I just say? This is all about actions. Knight of Wands. There are seasons passing here. There's a seasons that passed already. You know, fall, we're going into winter. And it's like, I should have done this in the fall. I should have made the moves then, but you didn't. <laughs> right? Uh, wanting to have the passion. Wanting to have the drive. This is someone here who... Needs to gain a higher perception, but I feel like they have it already. They know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they know. Four cups. You are the genie. <laughs> okay. There's something here about genie. So it's like you already know your wishes, dreams, desires of what you want, of wish fulfillment here. All right. Now, the four of cups is being complacent, not really sure of what option to take, but. This is someone here who's contemplating of uh, how much longer do I have to wait to make a move? Did I miss an opportunity? We have someone here who's starting to think that they may have missed an opportunity for something that they really desired or want, or they waited too long on. Um, can this person break free? Can this person be more passionate? Uh, can this person not miss this opportunity? Someone here who's afraid they may have missed the opportunity. Now, this individual may have missed an opportunity with an individual. Now, I know I'm changing the story a little bit, but like if this is a relationship, we could have had someone here who never took actions, wanted to keep their choices open and knows that they may have missed an opportunity here. Is it too late? six of cups is it too late and i just said that relationship right um this is memories this is being stuck in the loop of memories creating someone here is this is a soulmate energy here a connection here Someone may feel that they've missed an opportunity with an individual craves to just go out and, and, and get what they want. Stop living in the past. Stop living in the past. 
And if it's not relationship, guys, it's just about how you were brought up, how you were raised. But there's something here about stop reliving the past. Seven of Pentacles. Stop putting the work into this. It's not growing anywhere. You doing nothing or thinking about it is not doing anything. You got to nurture this. You got to love it. You got to. There's someone here who's maybe there's regrets about not doing something um, when they were younger. Taking snail's pace here, right? Maybe they feel like they missed an opportunity. They should have done this when they were younger, all right? But if not, this could be a soulmate, too, that someone wished that they connected with and they didn't follow through or they didn't feel ready at this time. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles didn't put the work into this, didn't create something with someone here, all right? Um, build, build something with an individual here. But there's another person, like I feel this other story of not building a foundation here, collective of feeling like it's too late for a dream or, and spirits saying it's never too late. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every level and every, every, every lesson and every moment. Um, it's time to travel. It's time to, it's time to get out of the circle. You've been complacent way too long. They're asking me to keep the King of Swords here who's looking at that Wheel of Fortune. And we'll take a look at what the outcome cards have to say. Remember, I don't do reversals on the outcomes because they're double-sided cards. Look at this. We have someone here. This is about walking away. What should have done, should have collaborated, should have done this, should have put the work into something. Um, should have put the work into a, a relationship, should have put a work into a dream. Um, someone feels like they need to walk away from this dream, walk away from this this um desire knight of pentacles slow this is a slow night this is a knight who takes their sweet ass time this is a knight who really you know it's about your long-term goals uh growth commitment for some some more fear of commitment there is someone here who walked away from something and is in nostalgic about like it's too late or I should have put the work into it. And they have been slowly thinking about, can I still do it? Can I still reach out to this person or can I still go towards that dream? Ooh. Of course it fell. Hold on. Look at this. Told you they've been thinking about it. This is what they truly desire. This individual has been hanging way too far, way too long for this. Um, and they, they're just evaluating like in the past, they, they could have had it all. This person feels like they could have had it all if they just put all of that effort into this relationship, this union, this work, this celebration, this happiness. Is it too late to put the work into it? We have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Is it too late? This person's back is, or is, is turned. I feel like we have an individual here uh, who has a lot of love. Uh, there's something about turning their, turning their back on something they really loved. And it's like they've been stuck in that stone forever. And they know intelligently it's time to move. 
it's time to go for it. They're they're intuitively, and I felt that intu intuition here with that monkey who was blindfolded on there. I felt that uh, this individual here has been stuck for quite some time, but there's their heart. Oh my gosh, you can't even make this up. Their heart has been evaluating. They're grieving this. Is it too late for me to go towards this? We have someone here who's wanting to get out of their comfort zone. One more card, Spirit. One more card. The Page of Wands. This is an individual who is going to pull in that young energy and go for it. Um, they may feel that it's too late. But it's like this is their challenge here, okay? This person is definitely um, evaluating this, looking at this. But now it's this is usually about a new adventure, a challenge. Someone here is either going towards a relationship that they, they uh, did not grow with. And going to see if the opportunity is there. But it's a page, so it's a start. Or it's someone here who had a dying dream. And is going to try to pull in that young energy of, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try it again. Hmm. Let's see what the advice here is. What is the vice card for this individual spirit? In the castle of dreams, become altered by the color of your dreams. This individual here... It's time to make your dreams a reality. Uh, you far It's been far too long. Um, 42 is a six. It's time to get a balance to this. But I keep, we had so many sixes in here too. Become altered by the color of your dreams. This is someone here who's ready to paint their dream, paint their canvas, become part of it. Making this um, a reality um, is going to give it a shot. They are going to do something here. They're giving something a shot that they had let go of, whether it's a dying dream or a relationship that they feel was a missed opportunity. We got someone here who's going to give it their good old college try. <laughs> All right, guys, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit a like and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I love to see you at Harmonia Friends. But if not, this is where we part ways. You guys take care. Have a good one.